What's up guys? So today we're talking about post-activation potentiation. And this is where after lifting a heavy ass weight, a moderate or light weight seems lighter. And this is usually used by explosive athletes. They'll do a heavy back squat followed by a jump. And the idea is that the back squat potentiates performance in the lighter movement. Now this works really well. There's quite a bit of research behind it. It's a little bit mixed. It doesn't work for everyone, but for the people it does work for, it works really, really well. And this can be accomplished in a few ways. You can do it through wave loading where you go up, 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 then back down in weight. You can do it through contrast sets where you do a heavy set, then a lighter set, then a heavier set, then a lighter set. You can do maximal isometrics. So if you're in the bottom position of a squat against a huge weight and you're squatting up with all the strength you can muster, but it's not going anywhere, that could potentiate strength gains in a lighter movement later. You can also do super maximal holds where you lift a weight that you cannot really use a full range of motion for. So perhaps you unrack the bar in a bench press with 110% of your max, making 70% later seem very light. Now it's important not to use too much weight because that will turn into a pap smear. So basically I did five sets of three with 110 kilos in the bent over row, Yates style, and then I moved down to 80 kilos. And honestly, it felt way lighter than it usually does. Usually I would do this for sets of 10, 12, 15, but it felt way lighter and I got more reps because my nervous system was potentiated. Now, normally I don't advocate timing your recovery time just because I think it's sort of a waste. You have to train instinctively. In this case, anywhere from three to 12 minutes is going to be optimal. Less than three minutes, you're still getting fatigue from that heavy work. More than 12 minutes, you sort of lose the potentiation effect because it dissipates over time. Where in that three to 12 minutes is going to be individual. You're going to have to experiment. I would say it's somewhere in that range. You just got to go find it. It's also worth noting that this works better for stronger people, for more fast switch people, for more highly trained people, and for people who are strong but not powerful so if you're a beginner eh maybe not for you finally it's worth noting that the movement should be as similar as possible the light and heavy movements should be identical ideally and if someone advocates doing a box squat to potentiate a normal squat that doesn't make any kind of sense at all even if they have 10 million followers don't listen to this dumb ass bullshit even more finally check out my book on amazon 4.9 stars 200 pages eight dollars it is the best deal in fitness thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video peace Post-activation potentiation, it gets you jacked, it gets you strong. Post-activation potentiation, do it, do it, do it, do it for the gains, for the gains.